Today is day four of vlogging, and I'm sure you guys are probably tired of seeing what I eat in a day, um, but too bad. <laughs> too bad, too sad. Um, so last night I had a late dinner. Today I just had a very late lunch. I've been working all morning, and I just came home to video real quick because I was in the area, and also to grab a quick bite. So, you know, basically, my work is a little bit flexible, but I still try to just keep my lunch at like one hour. And um, so I'll be back on the road here in a few minutes. But anyway, so I wanted to talk to you guys real quick about some stuff about vegan products because there are times where I run into um, products that I've been using and then later I find out that they're not cruelty free or there's, usually I'll know that the ingredients are vegan, but unfortunately sometimes the company is buying the ingredient from a company that does test on animals and blah blah blah. So that being said, I sadly found out that my makeup remover from Pons was not a cruelty free company. Um, I only have one, it's a, it's a um, facial wipe whatever to like remove the makeup. Anyway, I only have one left because once I found that out, of course, I'm not going to buy any more of those, which I'm a little bit disappointed because it's probably one of the better brands for removing makeup. So if you guys have any suggestions on the makeup removing towels, now I know there's natural methods. I could take some coconut oil and da da da. I do like doing that, but I also like the convenience of having something very quick when I am done with work and I'm in the car and I'm ready to go play volleyball or something like that, I like something that I can just like quickly take off my makeup or quickly take off the sweat from my face from volleyball. So if you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. Please put them in the comments below so I can read them and uh, yeah, I'm going to check those out. But in the meantime, I have my favorite shampoos. Now this Maui Moisture, phenomenal. Um, my girlfriend Instagram a picture of these and she's somebody that I play volleyball with and I was just like, oh my god, is that why your hair is so pretty? So in any case, yes it is why it's so pretty and so luxurious and her hair is like really beautiful anyway. She's got curly hair but she can also make it straight. Um, so it's very similar to my hair because my hair is actually quite curly but I straighten it all the time. Um, but this stuff smells amazing and right here on the label no sulfites, whatever the heck that word is, no yeah, synthetic dye, no oils, and yes, it's vegan. I like vegan. Um, Eco-friendly, pure coconut water. I mean, there's some good stuff in here, but the most amazing part, it smells like what I would picture Hawaii to smell like. I've never been to Hawaii, but I imagine it smells like this. We need smell-o-vision. When's that going to happen? I used to use when way back in the day and I used to rave about it until I started losing hair. No bueno. They have a big uh, lawsuit on them, which by the way, I need to fill that claim out. Anyway, Maui Moisture, 
awesome, awesome stuff. Um, I will post a link below. They have some different, like, this one is for chemically damaged hair. As we all know, I did just get my hair chemically treated yesterday. Do you like it? Isn't it cute? I like the white blonde. I think this is the whitest, this is like the whitest blonde I've ever been. I've been white blonde before, like, when I was a baby and I didn't have to treat my hair, but it's been years, so, and I'm sure it's going to be super damaged for, like, the next couple of weeks until I start putting coconut oil treatment in it, but I don't care. Beauty hurts. Sometimes. Who knows? All I know is I like it and it's fun. It makes me feel like a cartoon character. <laughs> the goals that we have in life. It's really funny. It's interesting. So, I gotta get back to work. I actually have to do a job because if I don't, who will? Who knows? But I will show you what I'm gonna eat later. So, anyway, um, I will catch up with you guys later. I hope you have a great day.